Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a uh, state foundation advanced lecture series for beginner to advanced level, this is its third lecture. And in our first lecture, I have shown you that how we will download a state foundation advanced software and how we will install that for lifetime. And after that, in our second video, I have shown you uh, I have uh, discussed about overall uh, point of a state foundation software and I mean about a state foundation software introduction and in this video I am going to show you that how we'll design for a single footing or isolated footing by using a state foundation advance so if you are new here you can watch our previous video there have many civil engineering related video uh, that, that are available in this your channel so let's uh, start first of all will open our state foundation advance so click here this is the connect edition so here is the state foundation advance and after that so as we have started so first of all we have to click here for new project click here create a new foundation file so from here click here and from here you have to click here general foundation so click here general foundation then open after that here is our interface and you can change that change its color suppose you need a uh, black or white or anything you can change that so after that we have to click here here and uh, one thing from here you can add the project information assist type from here you can select uh, that and here industry here you can location project number you can give anything that required according to your requirement so after that you have to click here foundation plan you have to click here foundation plan so just click here foundation plan after that click here column position after that click here column position so after clicking here column position you have to give here the this is the position of column this this nothing but uh, just uh, the point of that that interface where we have to draw our column so here suppose it will be 0 0 and 0 okay here is and uh, before that we should to do our unit setup I mean in which unit we want to work okay they have many unit suppose English unit they have English unit fit then they have uh, this is the SI unit you can use also SI unit also from here we can change manually that are required for our project suppose we'll use length unit length unit from here we can use I mean uh, what will be the length unit of our project suppose it will be in feet okay then I will consider that in inch then force unit force unit so click here what will be the unit in force keep then moment unit from here the uh, key fit the reinforcement bar unit so from here inch or anything then suppose your you will find your bar diameter in millimeter then you have to click millimeter or you have to if you want to found it in inch then you have to click inch the reinforcement spacing unit is inch distributed force unit also you can select here it skips per feet or like that so it's depend on you that how will represent your project in which unit that's totally depend on you so after that click ok so after clicking here we have uh, done our unit setup then after that we have to go here on main navigation and from here we have to give our column dimension 
from here we have to give our column dimension click here column dimension and after that you are seeing here so by moving mouse when you move mouse you can see that the double arrow in two direction then by clicking uh, left point of your mouse you can move that because uh, we need some space here so here is string shape which types of my I mean which shape of column we want to provide it's rectangle or circular that's depend on you so I will select rectangular then here column length or diameter so also you can move that if you have any problem like that so column diameter column length or column length in inch here it's showing you inch so here you are seeing that it it's inch so from here you have to give here column length suppose uh, we'll use here a 18 suppose we'll use here 12 sorry Twelve inch into here column width twelve inch. We'll use use here twelve inch into twelve inch column. Then here they have another option. Column reinforcement diameter. Which types of reinforcement are not? I mean, uh, uh, what will be the column reinforcement diameter? We can provide here, but we'll not provide here because uh, we'll identify that in later okay so it's done after that as we have uh, provided our column dimension after that we'll go we'll go have pedestrial and anchor bolt pedestrial and anchor bolt suppose you need you have a pre pedestrial on your column you have a pedestrial on your column um i've seen that uh, them there are many they have many uh circular column they have pedestrial okay they have many circular column they have many circular column where have pedestrial suppose uh, if you need to use pedestrial for your uh, under your I mean in your column so you can use that by clicking here yes and by giving dimension here so I'll show you that in later I mean after design I will show you that what is the difference between uh, pedestrial or I mean if we use pedestal then hot will be or if we don't use pedestal then hot will be okay so after that we'll ignore that point at now after that we have to go loads and factors to provide our load then click here create new load case create new load case then click here load title what will be the load title suppose suppose i will provide first of all dead load dl dead load we can increase that we can increase that like that way so i have provided a dead load and here load case type what will be the load case type it will be sur primary service or ultimate i will give it as primary so loading type which types of load we are using from here we have to select that so as it is dead load so it's dead load and add self weight will not use will will use a no then uh, set self weight factor it will be one okay after that click here add it's done then again click, click here this is that for dead load now we'll add live load so to add live load click here create new load create new load then give a title this is live load LL you can give it any name that's depend on you so from here we have to select live load it's live load okay so I again click add here is our um, load type dead load and live load only will use the two load so dead load for dead load so for dead load you have to right click here 
and add column column or reaction load column reaction load we'll use here column reaction load or by clicking here you can click here here also column reaction load okay so you can also click here so click here and uh, by right click here right click then click here left click add column re reaction load so here column reaction load and from here we have to provide our load according to our design criteria and this is for force fx fy fz and this is for moment mx my and they have mz okay so suppose first of all we want to give load in only the downward direction so we'll give here suppose we'll give here 200 kips and obviously you have to provide that value in negative because uh, the y direction in, in up up direction uh, i mean positive y is up direction and negative y is down direction so we know we know that our value always work in down direction that's why we have to provide our load in down direction and press and no and if you have uh, any record load you can give here also so if i you can give um, when you work for a um, i mean wind load or earthquake load you will found load in x direction and a z direction so from your requirement you can give here value just i am showing you about f y from here so after that we have to provide our moment so suppose we all, all know that the all s uh, our moment are in z direction if i show you something here if you have zoom out that if you see that this is the y direction this is the z direction this is the x direction this is the x direction so we have to provide our moment according to z or x direction so this, this that is totally depend on your design criteria okay uh, i will stop that enable auto save so i will provide moment in z direction suppose this is 50 kips per feet i'm just uh, giving her a random value you have to um, provide her value according to design load okay so i'll zoom in zoom that now it's done then click here add again click here and then add column reaction load similarly give your fi oh, minus suppose 150 keeps and our moment will be mz equal to suppose uh, 30 okay 30 then click here add so we have uh, defined our load now we have to assign that so to assign load just again click here after that select that reaction fy and click here assign load so this is the load and also moment and again for that again plus and for that reaction fy from here click here assign okay so this is for dead load and this is for live load so we have successfully assigned our load on our column i mean uh, this is the load uh, wh which will transfer from our structure to foundation through column this, this is the load of that so after that in our next video i'll sh start from here for our next part so i think you will be stay with us you will stay with us so thank you thank you very much and here i'll save that part save so from here yt tutorials sing sorry single footing 
single footing so i will use uh, that model in our next video so click here save then close so um, i think uh, that is helpful for you and uh, i have closed that because our video are being lengthy that's why i'm going to close that and in our next video i will try to complete that so thank you thank you very much s12 s connected till next video